Today we're going to show you how to reduce the shakiness on the vertical pole, right? Uh, after a while, or if you are unlucky enough to get a some shakiness on your vertical pole, um, you know this is a tutorial to teach you guys how to tighten it up, right? So what we're going to do, what we've done is to fold this down, right? We put a cloth here just so that does not scratch on the rear um, fender of the 010X. Now, you're gonna have to remove this um, screw here, right? So that's the easy part. All right. All right, so uh, set this aside. Okay, so you see two screws here. Can we uh, loosen the two setting screws here? Loosen the two setting screws. Loosen more. Okay. So when you're facing the top, it's actually uh, you, have, you have to turn clockwise, right? Not anti-clockwise. Okay, so this bolt right, comes out from underneath here. Alright. We're gonna remove this whole um, head set, right? So the way to remove it, right, is to uh, just take a flat head screwdriver, right, or a chisel if you have it, right. Just gently uh, pry it open, right. Let's try. Okay, just gently, all right? And the whole thing comes out to review the gears. Now, yours uh, yours may not have the gears, right? Yours may be a flat piece, but it will still have this holes here, right? So we'll teach you how to uh, tighten up the holes. There are a few ways to tighten this up. If you have a gear here, um, you actually do not even have to uh, remove the whole uh, headset to uh, tighten it. You can simply, you know, Take a uh, adjustable wrench like that, right, uh, and tighten up this whole uh, gear. But let's say if yours doesn't come with this uh, with the teeth, and it's just a smooth ring, then you need to remove the whole headset, insert these two screws in, right? Insert these two screws in uh, to a point where they are not shaky, right? And um, we'll show you how to tighten it. Okay, so stick a go ahead. Right, stick a strong piece, all right? Turn it clockwise while holding on to the front uh, swing arm, right? While holding on to the swing arm, turn it clockwise. You don't need to use too much force if, uh, otherwise you would uh, accidentally bend the screws and they may uh, not be able to be used again. All right, so um, just tighten it, hand tight it, right? Now, if you want to loosen it up, then of course it's uh, anti-clockwise, but we're not gonna do that today, right? So remove the two screws. Okay, reinsert this. Uh, okay. Just make sure that's make sure that's aligned, and make sure there's no gap in between here. Right, make sure there's no gap. Okay. Uh, reinsert the two small screws back into. Right. Um, insert the big screw. Right. Insert the big screw underneath. Okay. So this has to be very tight. Right. So hold the wheel 
at, to counterbalance with the top of the screw. Right. So hold the front wheel and turn it anti-clockwise. Right. Screw the two setting screws on the side back in. You're almost done there, right? Mix. And last, we insert. Okay. We insert this uh, vertical stand. Right? And the big screw. With the nuts. Yeah. It's a trick to tightening up the quick release. Right? Do three revolutions on the top, three revolutions at the bottom, and then repeat this process until this whole thing is tight. Right now, absolutely no shake at all. Right? No shakiness. There you go. So this is how you t tighten up your whole vertical stand for the Zero Ten X.